Hey, I'm Rita Cook. I'm Terry Murphy. And we are ECP TV. <laughs> Do you like that? Uh, it's very professional. Yeah, except for usually, like we were talking about, they're usually attached to the camera. Anyway, we're getting fancy here. <laughs> <clears throat> What's going on, mister? A lot of stuff this week, like seems what? like. Like what? Well, the voters, uh, the homestead property tax exemption. And that happens in November. Yep. Guys, you got to go and vote on this. Um, and I'm going to read to you because I'm going to have to wear my beautiful glasses. Your favorite glasses. Okay, so the Texas increased homestead property tax exemption amendment will be on the ballot in November. A yes vote means that you support amending the state's constitution to not only increase the homestead tax exemption from 40000 to 100000 but also to authorize the state legislature to limit the annual appraisal increase on non-homestead real property. What do you think about that since you live in Ferris? Well, you have to apply for the homestead exemption. Oh, and really? if you haven't done that, you need to because if you haven't, you don't get it. What is a homestead exemption anyway? You know, that's a good question. It's a uh, it's it seems like it's just a minor technicality that you get a discount on your taxes. Okay. And it's not a whole lot but it's going to be a lot more mm -hmm. if this thing goes through. So make sure you vote yes on it. Yeah, that's Terry's way to say absolutely nothing in five sentences or more. Mm -hmm. I'm good at that. <laughs> He's really good at it. Well, you have to, you have to <laughs> vote on it so that I yeah. can get the exemption as well. So yeah, it's probably. I mean, from what I understand, and from Kathy Rodriguez, I think is her name. I, I always pronounce it wrong. She is the Ellis County Appraisal District Chief Appraiser, and she was saying. In my opinion, what she was saying, she didn't say these words, but it's kind of a no-brainer that it's a good idea. Yeah, so, I mean, why not? Yeah. So, there's that. Um, there was an Amber Alert. Yeah. And what, and that was like an 11-year-old who was on social media or something? Posing as a 21, uh, yeah, 21 year old okay. on social media. Scary. She was out of Waxahachie. Um, the Ellis County Sheriff's Department and the Waxahachie PD were looking for her and they found her in. She had last been seen in Pennsylvania Avenue, which, if I'm not mistaken, might be Oak Cliff. Is that correct or is it more near Fort Pierce? It says Park? Dallas. Okay, right. Dallas. Well, Dallas is a. Oak Cliff is a Dallas. But anyway, yeah. she was found in Dallas and they canceled the Amber Alert pretty quick and um, they were thanking all the authorities who came out to. To help. Yeah, and they didn't give any other details <clears throat> as to no. what was going on, so we'll know more. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably, you know, that's the thing I hate about newspapers is you write the doom and gloom, and then the good news is something that nobody ever ends up finding out about because we've moved on to the next doom and gloom. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so that's kind of the way media is nowadays. We're trying to be a little bit different, but... I mean, you can only. The thing is, is like, you know what the problem is? And if there are any police or PIOs, public information officers, send out press releases about the good stuff that happens that after something bad happened, that yeah, the, the. The good follow up. Yeah, yeah, because people need to hear that. We need more love and light. We need more manifesting of universal positive energy, don't we, Terry? So take that as a note. <laughs> All you PIOs and police officers. <laughs> Sewer rates are going up in Ferris. Lovely. That's just going to counteract the uh, homestead exemption. Right, exactly. It's going to be... 13.5%? 83%. 13.83%. Yeah. But it's not... Ellis County's fault in this case. It's the um, Trinity River Authority. That so it's like the entire Ellis County is going up, and Ferris, which is where we're at, is so, just part so of they it. say it's sewer rates, but is it water? Water and sewers sewer. usually together. Yeah, yeah, so it's it's the whole thing's going up. Yeah, it's all going up. Yeah. Um, now in the paper here, Terry pointed out how much he liked this new pool here. Yeah, it's a beautiful pool, isn't it? And what is it again? It's not a pool. It's a big collect water collection thing for the gas company. They're going to pump the water in the gas line and look for leaks. So during that process coming up, if you smell gas, as always, be sure and run. <laughs> yeah, no, right. Call and let them know because yeah. that's when you'll find out. They pump water in there and it just pushes the gas extra heavy and then the water runs out and then they fill it with gas again. Okay. 
So yesterday, this happened yesterday, so it didn't make the paper. It'll be in next week's paper. But there was a bomb threat at the um, count. Was it the county clerk's office? It was the the courthouse, basically. Yeah, it was in, called into the clerk's office. In, in the yeah, in Ellis County. I was actually at the jail because I have another job besides writing, and it's a private investigator. So if you mm. guys need a private investigator, but um, I was doing some work there, and I actually got out right before they locked everything down. But I did not know how to get out of Waxahachie in the back roads. It took me, because remember I was talking to you on the phone and I said, I'm at a dirt road at a cemetery. I need to hang up. So um, that was a big deal. I talked to Sheriff Fred Norman of Ellis County and he said it took about three hours. I think it started around 2, maybe 2.30 and they had everything back to normal by 5.05 p.m. They called the DFW bomb squad. They brought the dogs out and they did not find anything. And you had asked who did it and they don't know it's still under investigation. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't tell my editor either of my editors because I thought it was a normal thing to have a lockdown at the jail and then both of my editors called and like why didn't you tell us why didn't you take pictures and I'm like I don't know the world we live in these I days I mean it's like I think I told dog you some dog treats or something well I called you and told you and you didn't think it was a big deal either nah so it's just a bomb thing all right I don't know how much time we have so I guess we're gonna go quick on this last part but oh, my, yeah. my down the rabbit hole this week was about um, chat GPT my friend actually put in right this article for Rita Cook about um, what was it alien nation or something um, reptilian so I put it in and just talked about the fact that um, things are getting pretty weird they're gonna get really weird <laughs> and you can't tell like writers are gonna go out of not have jobs I think um, my friend Anthony hey Anthony um, and you know Anthony too tell him hi yeah hey Anthony he's the one that did, did this for me he um, he said that his uh, cousin I think is a programmer and he said he's going to be out of a job too yeah. at some point so but let's see Elon Musk what did he say about this he said there um no, he said chat GPT is scary good. We're not far from dangerously strong AI. Yep. And do you want to talk about your dream? No. Your AI dream? No, I had an AI dream. If you what? had a dream and you were going to talk about a dream, what would the dream be? <laughs> no? No. No takers here? No takers. <laughs> what else did I write about in here? But I was talking about chat GPT being used for people that need psychiatric help. And what and so how can what do you, how do you think that Instead should work? of talking with a psychiatrist, you would talk with a psychiatry based chat. AI. AI, yeah. And I think that'd be really good because I mean it put a lot of psychiatrists out of work. Like it's gonna put a lot of everything out of work, but Exactly. Um I, I really think that that would be good, you know. And I've done some of that chat GPT stuff and uh they say everything you want to hear. It's amazing. So are you dating a, a chat GPT well, girl? Yet? I've got a date later on with a couple. All right, are you gonna drive her around in your Corvette? Good. <laughs> and you can actually make her look like you want her to look. That's right. And That's she right. won't talk or be sassy like I am. Yeah, the old farm dress. Yeah. yeah. Your whole life just changed for the better. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, one other thing I was going to say is Ferris has approved a master downtown plan, a strategic plan. They have a new um, <clears throat> core, core vision statement, a mission statement. They have a new newsletter coming out. The first one edition is August 1st. If you're in Ferris, look for it. And if you're not in Ferris, look for it anyway because, I don't know, Ferris seems to be the city that is, well, it's distinct by design. That's her motto, and I agree with it. And Brooks Williams is really, really an amazing city manager. Oh, yeah. And I, I really like him. I think that this Ferris is, it's, I'm, you know, I think it's just, you're living in a good city. Yeah, I think I think you have a lot good. of good stuff going for you. They're, yeah, they're focusing on the visual exactly. aspects of it and exactly. more parks and uh, trails and stuff like that. It's gonna be cool. They just actually opened an all-inclusive park, which I believe means that it's also for you know um, I don't know what they're calling handicapped children. You know, everybody can use it, and there's, it's very popular nowadays. And I think it's wonderful because it's not just like I mean, it's just it's just one of those things where people need to be outside and people need to yeah. be able to have you know activity outside and get to touch the earth and get off the AI and get yeah, out yeah exactly <laughs> don't take your AI with you <clears throat> I think we're, we're getting down on time okay I'm Rita Cook Terry Murphy and we are ECP TV ECP TV <laughs> cheers thanks for Bye. watching